What's up, everybody? It's Erskine the Prophet here to do another video. Uh, this video today is going to be called The Top 10 Best Punchers in the UFC. Uh, the title is pretty self explanatory. So, without further ado, let's get to it. At number 10, we have Michael Chandler. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> At number 10, we have Michael Chandler. Uh, Michael Chandler is a new addition to the UFC. He's only had one fight, uh, but it was against Dan Hooker, and he ended up knocking him out pretty quickly. So for that reason, I have to put Michael Chandler uh, on the list. Uh, now, Tom will tell if he's going to go up the list or if he's going to stay off the list or come off the list. You know, we'll have to wait and see. But coming in at number nine, we have Nate Diaz. Nate Diaz is one of the best boxers uh, in the UFC, in my opinion. He has a uh, very good technique, long arms, you know, pretty accurate. Uh, he also has an iron chin. Uh, I don't foresee anybody knocking Nate Diaz out with punches anytime soon. But yeah, at number nine, we have Nate Diaz. Coming in at number eight, we have Justin Gaethje. Uh, Justin Gagey's boxing has uh, really improved. Uh, he's knocked out guys like uh, Edson Barbosa, as well as uh, recently knocking out uh, uh, TK on T Tony Ferguson. Uh, Justin Gagey's uh, boxing is really, really good. Uh, he's also pretty fast, hits pretty hard. Uh, I would love to see him fight somebody like Conor McGregor. Uh, I wouldn't mind seeing him rematch Dustin Poirier. Uh, Dustin Poirier TKO'd him the last time they fought, but uh, Justin's gotten a lot better and has improved uh, tremendously since that loss. So uh, that would be a, a really good match. If either one of those two fights, uh, you know, I'd I love to see it. Coming in at number seven, we have C. Matt Conor McGregor. Uh, even though Conor McGregor lost to Dustin Poirier, Man, he looked really good uh, up until that point. Uh, he, Conor McGregor hits really hard and he's really fast. I think he's one of the best punches in the UFC. Uh, if Conor McGregor tightens up some of the holes and his boxing defense and uh, counters a little better, man, there's a very good chance he could be champ again. Uh, Cause honestly, the, the the you know the the sting he has on them punches is 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 not matched. I don't believe in the lightweight division. So as long as Khabib stays away, Conor McGregor, I believe, has a really good chance of becoming champ again. Coming in at number six, we have Dustin Poirier. Uh, as you just saw, Dustin Poirier, TKO Conor McGregor. Uh, Dustin Poirier is also a really good boxer. Uh, I know uh, Nate Diaz was calling Dustin Poirier out. I would love to see that fight uh, Hopefully at 155, but even at welterweight, I wouldn't mind saying it. They have very similar styles. They're both very good KG boxers. And to be honest, I really don't know who would win that fight. Um, I really don't know because Nate Diaz excels against guys like Dustin Poirier. So, you know, th that's a pick em. I'm not sure who would win that fight, but I'd love to see it. Coming in at number five, we have the light heavyweight champion, Jan Blankowitz. Uh... Jan has knocked out Corey Anderson, knocked out Dominic Reyes. I mean, he, he's on a tear. In terms of quality, you know, all of these guys on the list are really good guys. But in terms of quality, you know, opposition, people that are knocking out, you know, Jan B's right at the top of the list. Uh, you know, he, 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 he's looking really good. Uh, he don't, I don't feel he gets the respect he deserves, but I feel he's definitely one of the best punchers in the UFC. And that's why he's at number five. Coming in at number four, we have Israel Adesanya, the middleweight champ. Uh, Israel also has knocked out a uh, quality opposition. Uh, he TKO Robert Whitaker as well as Paulo Costa. So, you know, Izzy, uh, Izzy's a beast. Um, he and Jan Blanca, which are supposed to fight for Blanc uh, Jan's uh, light heavyweight title. And honestly, I don't know who I know a lot of people are picking Izzy to win that fight. I'm not so sure. I got a lot of respect for Jan. I know he lost fights early on. It happens. But when you get to that point where you make that turnaround, 
and get to where Jan's at. Jan reminds me of a mini Stipe, to be honest. Uh, but anyway, Israel number four. Speaking of Stipe, coming in at number three, the heavyweight champion of the world, Stipe Miocic. You know, uh, we've seen him knock out almost everybody in the heavyweight division. Uh, even knocked out Daniel Cormier in a uh, second fight. So, and so, you know, when you talk of quality of the opposition TKO, you know, you don't get no better than DC, you know, which is why Stipe comes in at number three. Uh, uh, his next fight, I think he's scheduled to fight uh, Francis, uh, yeah, Francis Ngannou. And honestly, that's another pick him. I just really don't know if Ngannou has improved enough to take on a mixed martial artist, the caliber of Stipe, because not only is he a tremendous striker, he's also a tremendous wrestler. He's a complete mixed martial artist, as is other guys on the list like Chandler, Diaz, Gagey. McGregor's not really a complete mixed martial artist, but honestly, his takedown defense is really good, and uh, he, he is really hard to keep him down, and he can do damage. Connor can inflict damage from the bottom. So even though I don't can see him as complete as some of the others, he's definitely complete. Dustin Poirier, Jan B, Israel, you know, Stipe. Anyway, Stipe at number three. Coming in at number two, my man, my favorite fighter in the UFC, we have Jorge Masvidal. I believe Jorge Masvidal is the most dynamic, the most fast, the most accurate striker in the UFC at the moment. I don't believe anybody can go toe to toe with him and stand up, not one fighter. You know, he's in a welterweight division where there are a lot of uh, wrestlers. So nobody's probably not gonna try to stand with him anyway. When he fought Kamru Usman, uh, I was totally disappointed in Usman's performance. All he did was hold uh, Jorge up against the, the cage and stomp his feet. You know, he couldn't engage, he couldn't take him down, couldn't box with him, couldn't do anything. That, that's just how good Jorge Masvidal is. And I'm pretty sure at some point, I, I say this, I would love to see Jorge go down to 155 and uh, challenge Khabib. I would love to see Khabib come out of retirement and those two fight. If they were to fight, I would put my money on Jorge in the, in, you know, in, uh, the one, in the lightweight division. You know, Jorge is kind of undersized in the welterweight division, but I think he would stack up pretty good in the, the lightweight. But yeah, Jorge Masvidal coming in at number two. And at number one, the number one best striker in the UFC has to go to Francis Ngannou. For everything Francis touches, he destroys. This guy hits hard enough to knock out an elephant. You know, I have never seen anybody punch as hard in the UFC ever is Francis Ngannou. There's never been anybody who hits as hard as he does. Uh, the only one who really comes close in my mind would be Anthony Rumble Johnson. But Anthony had to kind of set up his punches. Uh, Francis doesn't have to set up anything. You know, whatever he hits, he destroys. If he hits you clean, you're going to sleep. It's just that simple. I, I've never seen uh, anybody like Francis Ngannou, which is why he takes the number one spot on the list. So... These are my top 10 best strikers in the UFC. If uh, I would love to get some comments, if anybody agrees with me, disagrees, uh, feels that somebody should be on the list that I didn't name, or maybe I feel somebody shouldn't be on the list that I did pick, you know, please let me know. I would love to talk to you. I don't know y'all MMA. A lot of times MMA fans don't like to talk or anything, but I'm really hoping uh, I can get some discussion going with this uh, particular video. Please, please like it. I need you to like my videos. Please like this video. Um, I'm actually going to edit this video. So please take the time to like it. Like I said, please comment and please subscribe. I need all the new subscribers I can get. Please subscribe for me, y'all. Uh, that's going to go ahead and be... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. Please, everybody, stay strong, stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you for watching my videos. I love y'all. Peace.